Kia ora and welcome to uh, Postcards from Home. When everyone got sent home in quarantine, I just assumed that everyone would revert to sweats, to pyjamas and to leisure wear. And I could not have been more wrong from the social media posts I'm seeing. Everybody is getting up, getting dressed, looking fabulous. So... Um, today I'm not looking so fabulous. I've just been out for a walk. Um, I'm wearing an old uh, icebreaker merino dress and because I can't get past that 90s look of a dress in trousers, I'm wearing it with a pair of <laughs> track pads and runners but that's my go-to when I go for a walk. Anyway, I did promise that we'd jump, dive into my wardrobe. I live in a 1920s house and the wardrobes are really, really small, single doored. Um, but my wardrobe is in the guest room and it has four doors. So um, this side of my wardrobe is coats, jackets, shoes, bags, hats, scarves and uh, trousers up top. And actually it needs a bit of a tidy up. But anyway, I wanted to talk about a couple of, of coats that I've got. First one, this is my favourite, favourite coat. I uh, bought it last year in Port, um, down in Dunedin, Port Chalmers. And it cost me, I think, 75 Kiwi from memory. And it's a 1970s Donegal tweed coat. And the great thing about this is I wear it everywhere. And because it's really well fitted, I can also wear it when I'm riding my bike and it just doesn't get tangled up in the back wheel and I love it and I get so many comments on it so um, that is my favourite coat. I also have another coat I bought about oops, five years ago when I was um, living in Europe and it's a, a, a coat from Switzerland. And I think I paid about 100 euro for it. And it's made by a designer coping. And it, um, it's wool. And what I love about it, it's got a hoodie. So that's a really, really, really practical coat. Um, whoops. The other, the other jacket, or the other coat that I wanted to talk to you about is... Um, this one, and if you watch um, the series that I did in the closet, you'll see an article on it in there, but this fur coat from the 1920s was given to me by a friend about 20 years ago. It was her grandmother's coat, so her grandmother was given it by her lover, um, and then it went to her mother and then to her, so it did three generations. I haven't worn it in New Zealand very often because we've got a temperate climate, but it's been absolutely brilliant um, when I've been working in the States or Europe in winter. There was really, really cold temperatures and snow. It is great. But fur creates a little bit of controversy. A little bit. has created quite a bit of controversy, actually. But I believe that you're better off wearing a vintage fur coat that is um, out there already and that an animal has already given its life for than to buy faux fur. So faux fur, when it ends up in landfill, takes about a thousand years to break down. It's, it's fine um, particles uh, shed when you're wearing it. So um, it's creating plastic pollution. Uh, just as you go around the streets wearing it. So it's not, if, well actually it's far from ideal. So if you do have one of those, my best recommendation is that you actually bag it and, um, and keep it in your wardrobe because what's happening is that what's called fibre to fibre technology is being commercialised um, as we speak and so in a very short period of time there will be the capability there that can take um, synthetic garments, uh, break it down to its molecular parts and then re-extrude it into recycled PET. So that is the best thing that you can do with your faux fur coat or jacket. 
and in the meantime um, there's lots and lots of interfere out there and it's absolutely beautiful so um, I'd go with the vintage anyway uh, that, that's just my personal opinion others may have a different opinion but that's where I'm sitting now if you have any other questions around sustainability and fashion fire them through um, I'll answer them the best that I can um, tomorrow we'll have a look at what other vintage stuff I've got in my wardrobe so I look forward to speaking to you then